What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my son Dominic. He's the lead guitarist in his band, Beyond Chaotic. It's a rock band. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you're interested in um, you know, what his band sounds like. It's a rock band. And we're gonna be making his guitar wireless to the amplifier using this wireless adapter kit. Um, the brand is Joyo. And the reason why I picked this one over the Donner one is because this one is rechargeable, which is really awesome. Yeah. Because I hate switching out batteries. Yeah. And so this one is a high quality, all digital, 2.4 gigahertz audio transmission. And it also is, unlike analog audio, it will not be um, influenced by external signals or phones. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the distance is between 20 to 30 meters, and we're going to test it out and make sure it, that's accurate. Yep. Um, so it has a lithium battery, and the battery lasts for two hours. So that's pretty cool. And it comes with the USB charging adapter, and the delay time is 10 milliseconds. Wow. That's... So that's almost instant. Now, we did hook it up to um, a Bluetooth adapter. When we hooked up a Bluetooth transmitter to a Bluetooth receiver to his amplifier, it was 500 milliseconds oh, delay. So that basically like divides that time 50. And so um, it's just plug and play. So let's go ahead and plug and play and see if it's really plug and play. I'm Bless sorry. you. Thank you. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we have. So here is the receiver right here and the receiver has a catch button so they say it's plug and play as soon as you plug it in it should work but if it doesn't you hold down this button for three seconds and then you hold down this button for three seconds the catch button to sync it in and uh, this is the anti-interference button so if you're getting any kind of wireless interference you could jump on I guess a different channel by tapping this so here's the LED and the LED is uh, green when it's powered on, telling you you have good battery life, and red when it's low battery life. Right here is the um, mini USB to charge the device. Looks like the same one my PS3 controller uses to charge the controller. And right here is the on and off switch. And this is a plastic build. Pretty solid. It, it is a little bulky though and it's lightweight so this one is the receiver so that's going to be plugged into the amplifier it's so going to be receiving the signal right here uh got my transmitter that plugs into the guitar it's going to transmit to the receiver and the catch button i showed you what that does that's basically the sync button and right here is the anti-interference button to switch the channels to get less interference if you are getting interference which I already told you about. And here's the microphone plug-in. So I guess you can sing along while you're playing guitar. Which that's kind of cool. And the microphone volume control. And on and off switch. I love the fact that it has an on and off switch and not like um, an on off button that you have to hold down for three or four seconds to turn it on and off. Yeah. I just rather flick the switch. It's so much faster and convenient. And here it is. Here's the charging adapter. It is 5 volt, 500 milliamp. So pretty much the same charger that charges any phone. Except that it uses, instead of micro USB, it uses a mini USB. It kind of looks like the one for PlayStation. Yeah, it does. So let's go ahead and just take our receiver. This is the receiver. We're going to flick the switch and hopefully have a battery. There it is. It's green. That means battery is good. If it's red, that means low battery, you have to charge it. So it should last two hours. Let's go ahead and plug it into the input on the amplifier. And this right here is the transmitter, obviously. So let's go ahead and flick the switch on that one. And that is a red. Oh, that's red. That means low battery. Or it's yellow. It looks like, I don't know what color. What the hell color is that? <laughs> when I turn it this way, it looks red. When I turn it this way, it looks green. What is it? I guess yellow means it's uh, 
Low battery, maybe? I don't know. Just plug it in where you normally would plug it in. Okay. Now let's see how far this goes. Turn up the volume. Mm -hmm. We didn't we didn't even pair it. It works right out of the box. It's instant too. Right there from the adapter to that adapter. Go to the adapters. We are 15 feet away. We are 15 feet away and it works perfectly. Whoa. Almost look at that. 19 feet. 19 feet. That's pretty good. Call Jerrica. Go ahead, Mike. Give me a little stop. Call Jerrica. Call Jerrica. Call Jerrica. Alright, so I'm making a phone call. Go ahead, give him a play. Phone does interfere with the signal, but you have to be like within one foot range of the transmitter. So this right now is about 20 feet. If you go outside, it's gonna be four, like 30 feet. Hit the, uh, hit the interference button. Okay. Just tap it. All right, now play. It's clear, right? Alright, now go that way. Play in the kitchen. Um, what do you think about it? How do you like it? It's way better than the very original Bluetooth adapter that we used because there was too much delay for me to play with. I oh had. yeah. We were just I was just using any uh, Bluetooth adapter and transmitter. Yeah, it's, I could I thought any transmitter, Bluetooth and uh, receiver would work, but there's such a bad delay on it. This is designed for guitars. Yeah. So when you're like, you know, like, oh, I don't know, should I practice, should I practice? And this will give you more motivation to practice because yeah. you don't have to deal with so much other crap to get, you know, to plug in your guitar. Yeah. Right, so these things are very useful and convenient Definitely. for practicing. Yeah. Uh, for a gig, probably still use the wire. Um, especially if you're using cable wires that have shielding and it blocks interference, you're gonna have the least amount of problems with that. But yeah, if you're practicing or having a small venue, like you know, just I don't know, you're showing off for in front of your friends, you could probably just use this. That's so, what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. But it works up to 20 feet, really good, up to 20 feet. Well, yes. we're about 19 feet away. About 19 feet, yeah. Yeah, so if you're interested in this device, whether you play piano, it works for piano, guitar, bass guitar, electric violin, stuff like that, anything that uses this plug, it would work. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in this device, it's about $70 on Amazon. Just click on the link in the video description below. And if you know anyone that this video will help, Go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to your musician friend or family member. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one. And don't forget to like.